This is a recording for the occupational English test and the test is held at the Pear Academy, Bangalore, on the 11th of March 2023. The candidate's name is Lizzie John and the candidate number is 7453. The interlocutor is Peter Xavier and interlocutor number is 3667. This is role play number one for the profession of nursing. Good morning Lizzie. Good morning. Lizzie, this is a test of your English language and not an assessment of your professional knowledge. Keep that in mind and speak as you would naturally. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Peter. My name is Lizzie. I am one of the registered nurses in this hospital. Good morning, nurse. I am here to discuss blood pressure monitoring at home. How do you feel now? Nurse, I feel so anxious. I am so sorry to hear that. May I know the reason for your anxiety? I am feeling anxious about going home. I think it is too soon. Your concern is valid, but it is imperative to go back home. If you stay back at the hospital, there might be chance of complications. Your discharge process was made by multidisciplinary team and it is based on your assessment. Nurse, if I go home, how can I monitor my BP? The doctor explained when and how to monitor blood pressure in the morning, didn't he? The doctor explained about when and how to monitor blood pressure, but I can't really remember what he said. Try not to worry, I will help you. There are many devices available at your disposal. Many of them are automated. You can simply put on the cuff and press the button, the result will be displayed digitally. How does that sound? That sounds good. There are a couple of things I want to advise you. Within 30 minutes before measuring your blood pressure, do not smoke, drink caffeinated beverages or exercise. Okay nurse. Before taking BP readings, sit upright in a chair with your back supported, feet flat on the floor, and rest your arm on table with the palm face up, and make sure that the arm supported at heart level. Relax about 5 minutes before taking measurement. Roll up the sleeves just above the elbow. Then take the reading. Did you get my point? Of course, nurse. For your better awareness I will provide a leaflet that shows demonstrating pictures. If you go through it, you will get a clear picture of how to take blood pressure. Okay. I would like to add that it is essential to measure blood pressure at the same time each day, and record the readings in a notebook or an app. This way, you can track your progress and notice any changes or abnormalities. Sure nurse. If you still have difficulties to take your blood pressure let me arrange a community health nurse. Is that okay for you? That's wonderful. I will follow the instructions you have given. But nurse, I would like to know, what I can do to avoid fainting. I appreciate your concern. Firstly, do not get up quickly when wake up. Increase your daily fluid intake which will hydrate and improve your blood circulation in order to prevent fainting. Whenever you are feeling dizzy, lie down and elevate your leg with pillow, which will make you feel better. Do you get my points? Yes nurse. I would like to know the support you have at home, like family or friends. Well, I live with my spouse, and my brothers and sisters lives nearby. That's perfect. It is important that you should have a support network like family and friends. To promote your well-being, I highly suggest taking regular breaks from standing for extended periods of time and additionally try not to be listened to worries and concerns. I will follow your instructions. I would like to inform you that it is mandatory to have a review appointment in one week's time to know the progress. Do you have any other concerns? No nurse. You cleared all my doubts and I will attend the review appointment. If you have any concerns after going home, feel free to contact us. Okay. Then you for listening me patiently. I wish you a speedy recovery. After I leave, if you need anything, press the buzzer. Once again, thank you for your cooperation. Thank you nurse, you are very helpful.